Hey, what's up guys, it's Val here and in today's video we are reviewing Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. But if we don't know each other, my name is Val and here on my channel I try to give you some simple tips and tricks on how you can look and feel better. I test some products as well, so I can help you decide if it's worth buying them or not. And without any further ado, let's go on with the foundation. Now I'll quickly say that I'm using this foundation for the last two years or more. First, I will tell you which shades I use. So winter time when I'm really pale, I'm using uh, 2W2 Rattan, this is the shade and then most of the time of the year I'm using 3W1 Tony, which is this one, I don't think you can see the difference on the camera. Anyway, summertime I'm tanning quite fast, I'm using 4N1 Shell Beige, which is a neutral shade but it tends to go olive -y. Now the foundation is coming in a glass bottle, it's 1 fluid ounce, 30 ml, standard uh, packaging, it's costing about 42-43 euro. Anyway, as for packaging, I don't really like the fact that the bottle is glass since uh, every time I travel and I take this with me, I need to, you know, be careful how and where I place it in my luggage so it doesn't break. And then let me tell you what Estee Lauder is saying for this foundation. I will just quickly read off my phone. They say it's 24 hour wear, color true, non-creasing, that's all for 24 hour. Matte foundation, it is indeed matte foundation. Sweat and humidity resistant, transfer resistance, controls oil all day. No caking, no settling into fine lines or pores. This you can see on my skin. Uh, quite easily since I have a lot of enlarged pores and scarring and I have ice peak scarring on this side of my face. No pouring. I don't know what they mean by no pouring. You know, uh, it's funny for me because there are plenty of foundations which uh, claim to reduce the size of your pores, the appearance of your pores, uh, they make your pores vanish and etc. None of them is doing this, I guarantee you. The only thing you see is filters, Photoshop and etc. stuff. Not any foundation is uh, able to make your pores vanish or whatever they claim to. So I don't usually pay attention to this. I've tested out some foundations which really make my pores look triple the size they are. Anyway, I will use the Real Techniques uh, Beauty Sponge. I'm using this for years. This is the tool which I like to apply most of my foundations with. I think in most cases the sponge is giving me just a bit lighter coverage and seems to make the foundations a little bit less cakey on my face. Now I plan to test a few more foundations for you and show you how they perform on my skin in the next few days. So I'll be doing the same thing. Something else, I have combination to oily skin, meaning uh, my T-zone, my chin, they're oily most of the time, they're getting oily quite uh, quickly and you have to bear in mind that when I review uh, foundations. I've already prepped my skin with moisturizer and on one side of my face I'm using a primer. I've already applied that on this side of my face so you can see if there is any difference with the primer and without the primer. This is the side with the primer again. That's it, that's just the Prime and Fine primer from Catrice, it's mattifying, it's pore refining, anti-shine base, I will link uh, the primer down below, it's really nice one by the way. So that's it, let me apply the foundation and you can see how it looks like on my skin. The foundation in the bottle is uh, just this much left and the pump won't manage to to get anything out of the bottle. This side. While I'm applying the foundation, I want to quickly explain to you that uh, many times uh, it's happened to me that uh, shop assistants or uh, makeup artists in the shops don't believe that I'm wearing Estee Lauder Double Wear. There is a quite a uh, quite an opinion form around this foundation that it looks cakey, mm, makeup-y and etc. Which I definitely not agree with. Uh, I think the trick with this one is uh, you, you need to apply a small amount on one side of your face. Okay, I just pump it with my finger. You need to apply a small amount uh, on one side of your face, then apply again a small amount on the other side and keep on going with the rest of your face. Just don't apply dots all over your face and then blend it. Because what is true for this foundation is that it sets really quickly. And when you try to apply dots everywhere and then blend it, while you're blending this side, this side is already set and it's not really blending well. 
and I've noticed that this is when the foundation starts to look cakey. As you see, I've applied a really thin layer uh, and uh, Okay, this uh, tool is not the best way, but I don't have other choice since I have two more bottles of the foundation and I can use the NYX uh, mixer, color mixer, foundation mixer to adjust the shade. I don't really want to buy the same shade uh, before I use the rest of the, before I use the, the other two bottles. So bear with me here. By the way, I forgot to mention that my skin looks horrible right now. I'm trying to uh, get the facial done professional this time since I had some hormonal problems the last month and a half. And uh, my skin is totally horrifying. I can see blackheads uh, on my skin from uh, one meter in the mirror, so ignore that please. I can get rid of that small piece of hair. Other problem here I have is um, this pigmentation on my upper lip, which I did myself. That's a um, subject for another video, definitely. I will explain to you what I did myself and how I did it, so you don't do it. Especially when summer is coming, because it's, uh, it's really connected with the sun and the sun damage. I will apply a little bit more on both sides of my face. I just need, I don't need, I just want to get a little bit more coverage. I don't know if you can see well on the camera how the color translates, but this color is really nice when I'm tanned. So I think that's, that's enough, definitely. I think it looks really nice on my skin. It doesn't look cakey at all. Uh, it, it's not full coverage. I mean, that's this foundation for me has always been medium coverage. And I don't know why everybody tends to say that the foundation is full coverage and it's um, caking and etc. I explained to you that the application matters a lot. So that's not a mask foundation, that's not, that's not a full coverage foundation for me. Now, it's up to you what you think full coverage means. Anyway, I will finish off my makeup and I'll see you in a minute. So I'm back with my makeup finished on. I've just used products which I use on every day to day basis. I powdered the foundation. I always powder my foundations anyway, so I didn't want to um, test the foundation with no powdering. It doesn't work. None of the foundations is working for me if I don't powder my face. This is the powder which I used. I've hit pan a long time ago. And I'll see you guys in a few hours just so you see how the foundation looks like. Is it getting oily? Is it caking and etc. And I'll see you later. Hi, that's me. I'm sure it's a bit noisy here, but I just wanted to show you how the foundation looks like after about seven hours and more probably. This is how it looks like. Um, I think you can all tell that, yeah, it's a bit oily. It's oily on my T-zone. And considering the horrible state of my skin, it's, it's, uh, you can see the texture here, but that's just from my skin. And I picked this place, I know it's windy, but I just wanted to show you how everything looks like, just from my point of view. Now my head looks big, but who cares? If you can see that beauty, it's just amazing. It's a nice place to walk. Anyway, I hope you're able to see how it looks like. I'm just shooting with my selfie camera on my phone. I don't have um, the other one available, so it is what it is. Uh, and I'll see you guys later on in the end of the day to see how it's going. Hi guys, that's me back again. I just came home and I 
was rushing to switch on the lights and everything it's totally dark outside obviously so this is how the foundation looks like it's been more than 10 hours since i'm wearing it and just for the record i'm just looking at my monitor here as i told you i went to the harbor area for a wall i felt that it was a lot of humidity and i'm just checking as a percentage they say that it was 81 percent today and I guarantee you that where I was walking was even more because it was just by the sea as you saw so considering the humidity this is how my face looks like after more than 10 hours walking around uh, I went around to do some things you know as I told you before and uh, I think it looks fine I think it looks really nice it's oily here on my t-zone around my nose uh, it's oily here on my nose itself and my chin so let me just uh, have a look how it looks like from this close distance yeah it's settled a little bit into my fine lines here on my forehead that's normal after 10 hours it's it's fine with me and as you see my blush is still intact I don't know how everything translates on the camera I can assure you that here in real life it looks a bit oily but really nice on the skin especially on the cheeks here this part it looks like I've just applied the foundation really let me just turn on the other side so you can see yeah it's it's you know it's settled here a bit oily here but considering that I could powder my face at least once or I could just bloat my face one time during the day I don't think that that's a big deal but the foundation is amazing so that's it guys for Estee Lauder Double Wear anyway guys it's worth it if you ask me should you buy it yes you should if you need a long wearing foundation if you need foundation which you will put and it will stay there yeah so in my opinion guys it's worth every uh, dollar or euro or whatever you're gonna spend on this one so guys that was all from me for today i hope you found this video helpful if you did please give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the following videos where i will be testing the other foundations and i'll see you soon